traveler, do you also have a weird uncle that every single time you have a family meeting he just gets drunk and kinda crashes the party but at the same time you love him because he is a fun person to be around? Well my friend, turns out your uncle is playing Albion. Check this out, Uncle Frost is back. This is a yearly event that happens in Albion Online during Christmas. It's essentially an event that can give you a lot of cool skins, a lot of cool items including this ultra rare Yuletide Stag skin. And today dear adventurers I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to find Uncle Frost. So let's get to it. Okay, so first thing that you need to know, Uncle Frost will spawn in solo or group dungeons between tier 4 and tier 8. So tier 3 and lower dungeons are not affected by this, but tier 4 and above, no matter if it's for 3, 8, 3, 8, 2, it doesn't matter, you're gonna have Uncle Frost sometimes inside. It has a certain chance of spawning. And to determine this chance, we're gonna be doing 10 dungeons and seeing how many of them we can find Uncle Frost. Now, I'm using a pretty specific build for this that I am gonna be explaining later on. For now, let's just get into a dungeon uh, but before we do that let me give you some extra tips if you are doing this in the black zone which in my opinion you should be doing this in the black zone always make sure to take the invish shrine at the end now since the tier of the dungeon does not matter it is actually much better for you uh, to go in any dungeon you find absolutely any dungeon you find i'm gonna show you a way to be safe in whatever dungeon you choose so let's say i go in this one perfect actually perfect timing you want to go in and then if you want to be uber safe, you want to stay at the entrance and wait for 90 seconds. To keep track, I mean, first of all, you want to check to make sure that the dungeon is not done. And once you make sure that the dungeon is not done, you want to stay here and use the logout timer to count 90 seconds. At 210, you are safe enough to go in. Now, since I don't care that much about my build or about my safety, I'm just going to run in straight away. The build that I'm about to show you, as you can see, can help you very easily pull to whatever dungeon you're doing. I mean, there's a tier 5 dungeon, it's not really the biggest deal, but hey, it also works with higher tier dungeons. Just make sure you don't overheal yourself so you don't get healing sickness. And just run through the dungeon looking for Uncle Frost. This is, like, if you only care about Uncle Frost and you don't care about the silver and so on and so forth, this is the best way to do things. You just go there, find Uncle Frost and once you found him you start clearing the dungeon but backwards because as it stands right now you're not actually gonna be able to open the chest if you don't clear the mobs but you are gonna clear them just backwards all right we got to the end of this we did not find Uncle Frost now again the safest thing that you can do is just wait at the entrance I'm not gonna do that um, so yeah let's just run through this because if you want to hunt just for Uncle Frost, this is the easiest way to do it. You make sure that Uncle Frost is in the dungeon and then you start clearing the dungeon backwards. And again, what you're looking for initially are a bunch of Christmas trees. I'm going to show you. By the way, dearest new players, you can also use this to make solo dungeons a little bit more effective for you. Like you run all the way to the end, you see if it's a worthwhile chest, and let's say you get a legendary chest. Of course you clear that dungeon. But if you get a blue chest, maybe you're going to think twice. Right, second dungeon, no Uncle Frost. Let's say out for dungeon no uncle frost you know how you need to think about this this whole time those four dungeons that we've been into so far this being the fifth one but we don't know if uncle frost will be here or not yet but those four dungeons that we've been through so far with no uncle frost if you don't use this method you spend way too much time doing the dungeons to then find out the same thing that i found out which is hey uncle frost is not here but by skipping the mobs like I'm doing right now, you are saving so much time. Now again, if you're a new player and you just want to do some solo dungeons, by all means do them. There's no reason not to do them. But if you are just searching for Uncle Frost, this is the way. This is the way. Ah, this is just beautiful, man. In case you guys were wondering why I want the red buff, well, this is why. This is why. Alright, fifth dungeon, nothing. Let's keep going forward. Keep going forward. Alright, sixth dungeon, no Uncle Frost. No Uncle Frost. Let's go to the seventh one. Chat, I want to take a break to appreciate this beautiful new layout that also has boobas. <laughs> Thank you so much, SBI. I very much appreciate your design team. Yo, what did we just find over? Is this a legendary chest? It is. Gotta do the dungeon. Absolutely. Absolutely doing it. Aren't you gonna clear it? Of course I am. Of course I am. And see, this is what I mean. Like, right now, we didn't find Uncle Frost. We just found the legendary chest. Um, protected by a legendary chest. Is what it is. 
Uh, and right now, we basically just start clearing the dungeon, but in reverse. Check this out. Come on. Alright, let's get it. About what I was expecting, to be honest. Alright, no Uncle Frost here either. This was the ninth dungeon. We did find a legendary chest though. Chat, would you look at this? A patch of snow. I think Uncle Frost is nearby. It's snowing. It's heavily snowing. So chat, let's leash those mobs or let's kill them actually. And then let's get to Uncle Frost and uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what you're looking for as well. Is it this way? Yes, it's this way. Check this out. Presents. Christmas presents. A cozy atmosphere. I like this. I really like this. Where's Uncle Frost though? Oh, it's right there. Alright, so that's how you find it. It's gonna be very... Okay, initially I thought that it would be something much more hidden. But no, it's something very, very obvious. This is actually the 10th dungeon. So, as exactly as I was guessing, a 1 in 10 chance for tier 5 dungeons. I'm also going to be going in tier 8 dungeons just to see if the chances, the spawn rates of this, actually changes. Uh, and from the second you found this, regardless of where you are in the dungeon, you want to start clearing backwards till the entrance of the dungeon or the latest dungeon portal. This is very important. Whenever you go from one floor to the other, you're going to go through a portal. You don't have to clear all the way to the entrance, you have to clear all the way to the portal that you've been to. And check this out, I got ahead. Not bad. Alright, now what do we get from the chest? I don't think we're gonna be able to open it now. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we gotta go and clear some of the enemies that we left behind. Let's open up the chest. I don't think there's anything special about this chest. I thought like it's just a normal one. Yeah, it seems to be the, just a normal chest. So the items you are actually getting from Uncle Frost, which makes this even better, to be honest, because that means you can actually just go, kill Uncle Frost, get out. You don't have to do the chest. But now again, the best thing that you could do actually is also do the chest. Might as well. It's right there. Maybe you get something from it. Some people are saying that in the past years you were actually able to find the skin in the chest. So it's better safe than sorry, just do the chest as well. But from what I've noticed, the chest seems to be a normal one. Alright, let's try this out. I'm gonna get some tier 8 dungeons and let's see... How fast are we going to be able to find Uncle Frost over here? In tier 5 dungeons, we had a 1 in 10 spawn rate. Just based on 10 dungeons that we've ran through. Let's see if it's any different in tier 8. First tier 8 dungeon, no Uncle Frost. Let's try the next one. Right. Second dungeon, no mob over here. No uh, Uncle Frost. Right. Fourth dungeon, no mob. Right. Fifth dungeon, no Uncle Frost. Fifth? Oh no, fourth. Oh, come on, damn it. Damn it, I don't have patience anymore. This is boring. It's boring. People keep asking me, Hey, Mok, why are you in dungeons? Hey, Mok, why are you in dungeons? I've been answering for the past one hour. I'm looking for Uncle Frost. I'm looking for Uncle Frost. I'm looking for Uncle Frost. I cannot bear this anymore. <laughs> why are you doing dungeons? Oh, shut up. All right. Fifth dungeon, done. Still no Uncle Frost. Five more, we're halfway through. I'm losing my sanity with each passing second because I've been running through all of those dungeons. But as I said to the Twitch chat, can you imagine how much worse this would have been without this little trick right here? Imagine having to actually do all of those dungeons. Well, yeah. You can thank me by subscribing and liking. No worries, traveler. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> All right, let's kill this thing. All right, come on. Give me the skin. Imagine I actually get the skin while recording this. Let's see. This was less than the tier 5 solo dungeon. <laughs> Okay, maybe it drops in a chest. Let's go back and clear um, backwards until the portal. And let's see how that goes. Uncle Frost! Alright, come on, come on, come on. I'm tired of this. <laughs> People have been asking me what I'm doing for the past hour. I cannot bear it anymore. Give me the skin. Damn! No! No! I hate this! This sucks, man! Oh, God. 
Alright, this is the ninth dungeon. Just one Uncle Frost. Alright, so no Uncle Frost in the ninth dungeon. Let's go back. <laughs> and there goes the tenth dungeon. This dungeon did not have Uncle Frost either. So the spawn rate, regardless of tier 4 or tier 8, it's the same. 1 in 10 dungeons will have Uncle Frost. Now again, roughly, maybe you get the luck of having 2 Uncle Frosts in 10 dungeons, or so on and so forth. Uh, but that seems to be the baseline. 1 in 10 dungeons will have Uncle Frost, regardless of the tier. Now, to be absolutely fair with you adventurers, you should still do higher tier dungeons, because those dungeons have a higher bonus and a higher chance for you to get those desired skins. But that being said, this is everything you need to know about the Christmas event. Enjoy, adventurers!